Hey guys, Moondog here. Yeah, I do realize I haven't been making very many videos recently. Class has been going on. Or I should say I haven't been making many, very many videos since almost October of last year. I, and if anybody, if any of you really want to have been keeping up with my stuff, hey, I apologize. A lot of stuff's been going on. We got, like, we got stuff's going on with family. I have been helping out, like, helping my grandfather out a lot recently since my grandmother died. My, um, my other grandmother on my mother's side needing a lot of help around her house. Other family stuff. Stuff's been going on. And I, it's kind of hard to explain the uh, problems and whatnot, but um, you know, but uh, anywho, this is Firewatch. Uh, this was announced at E3 last year, and I was just, wow, this is cool. I did play it already, just just to get ideas of how the game. Would play and everything. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Just to see how it runs, that's all. So, let's go. Panic Incorporated. Boulder, Colorado. Boulder, Colorado. Boulder, Colorado is your wounds. You see? I see a lady. Music. She's about your age, late 20s. Laughing with well dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. Uh, what should I say? So what's your, you know, major? You, you slur the word major and it smells like Coors. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says. And I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs, she sniffs the air. <laughs> Toxicology? Was that a burn, you ask? She says, definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you were Julia's boyfriend. Huh. Ooh, elevator. Backpack. Put that on the backpack. Open up. Oh, that looks pretty nice. Ooh, there's stuff over here. Open up. Show me your secret. Keep telling me your secrets, trash can. No. Um, seriously, let's get in the truck. Stuff in the truck. Oh! Close the tailgate. You date for over right here. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. That's good. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julian wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love with. She wants to bring it to, with her to class. I fucking messed that up earlier. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Protection over cute. Protection over cuteness. Protection. Cuteness. Protection. Cuteness. Protection. Cuteness. Uh, she wants the beagle. She's getting the beagle. 
Bucket's a good dog, and a week later you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him, you love him too. Damn straight. 1979. You walk out on the deck, it's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? Not are very smart, or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, you know, a couple little idiots, that'd be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you said. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. <laughs> it's probably for the best that their parents were hitched. Yeah, she's absolutely right. Oh, it's so pretty. The assets, there's... I mean, it doesn't look very graphically demanding, but there's so many things. Everything's you got the grass, the clover, you got the bushes, the trees, you got burnt, every, you got so many different assets. They're not very graphically demanding assets, but there's so many of them. Which right there makes a huge difference. It's a Thursday night, and Julia's four hours late. What? She doesn't call, and you're worried and getting angered by the bed. She walks after you go to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. I I don't like fighting with people. I'll just, I'll, I'll just ignore her. You don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry. And ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on, you hold on to any... Uh -huh, the, you hold on to a tiny pillow resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her, from her, ah, from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. Oh, you gotta. You gotta pose like E-Man. Damn right I look awesome. <laughs> Uh, it, like it looks gorgeous. It's fucking. It's gorgeous. It's so pretty, and it's uh, oddly enough, it actually is pretty graphically demanding. Oh, hold on, out of curiosity, I apologize. Wow, this game's really uh, CPU intensive. That's kind of surprising. Do I still have the subtitles? Yeah, wow, this game is really CPU intensive. That's pretty surprising, actually. I bet if I had an Intel CPU, I'd be, get, I'd be getting better frames. <laughs> I already know that for a fact. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to run. Oh. Oh, Bucket gets kicked. B fuck the dog. Julia yells. I'm not gonna try to yell. It's just, it's just stupid. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. Oh, what I do? Personally, I'm the peaceful type. I try to scare him away. Reach in your pocket like you got a gun to threaten to kill him. You managed to scare all three. Oh, damn! He runs away. All three of you. Yeah. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get way laid by work. Aww. Julia gets, Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut. 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Let's say she's department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. 
because I have commitment issues, it's just in general, like, I'm just afraid. I wouldn't like that. I'm just afraid of her seeing someone else. If it was seriously in my, in my position. So I'd convince her not to take the job. You told her this means you won't have a family. She says that's bullshit. She's totally right. Kind of not. She asked if her taking the job means you won't come with her. You say, yes. Again, bullshit. But she decides not to take it. Oh, yay! Julia is asked to leave Boulder on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for, for on a colleague for borrowing books that were important for her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to just two, just two days prior. She was fine crying in the stairwell. This is the this is like the third thing where she's been kind of not all there. I would I would talk to someone about that to be honest. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. Oh. Oh. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta stop. I gotta stop, bro. That just hit me close to home. to keep it a secret. <sighs> I'm sorry for getting emotional. My grand, my the dementia kind of hit me kind of hard because my grandmother had it before she passed. It's one of the main reasons she did pass. <sighs> I think I need a second guess. I'm sorry. Stars look so pretty. Yes, I'm a man. I just said the word pretty. Ooh. Col Gold Goldman, really? Goldman. Ooh, the journal. Ooh, journal. What's in there? What's in here? Ah. <laughs> uh. oh. Look, it's getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in the less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. See, right about there is when I just stopped earlier because this is actually getting to me emotionally. And I'm probably going to get into it emotionally again. <laughs> Her Julia's a 87. Her Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic leaving her dad's at the door. You tell our family they're crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988, you spend your days following... Oh, Jesus Christ. Stop it. Stop it. Don't cry. 
You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel Lindhurst. So you suggest that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with a 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. Oh, fuck. Stop it. Stop it. Some what I do, so I, yeah, I'll take. I'll, I'm determined, yeah. Fuck. Wow. Like, I seriously cannot believe how good this game actually looks. Alright, I'm trying to get my mind off of my grandmother right now, so it's not that easy. <gasps> Dear, oh, I can't. I can't even. I can't even duck. Oh, man. Wow, what an elk. Holy shit. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours. Drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter. Drinking then, too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. <sighs> Damn it. You, uh... What do I do? I don't want to be that conceited, but... Safety, safety sake, safety. Put a chair in front of the door. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. 89. One night, you were stopped at a DUI deck checkpoint. You blow a point one. You were taken to jail for the night. <laughs> You're considered trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law. Excuse me. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state that your house is in. They tell you Julia is coming to live with them. If you don't argue, you'll see you a visit soon. A few weeks go by and... Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. Take it. <sighs> wow. Hey! Look out, Tower, finally. Oh, I just... <laughs> <laughs> you guys can't see my screen, but I just—I literally just got a notification for patch notes for this game. I, I literally just got a patch notification. Oh my God, it's fucking gorgeous. The higher up here I go, the better that my frames get. <laughs> Which honestly is not not a uh, not a surprising factor. Wow, this place is kind of in shambles. 
turn the power on. Is that light switch really? The, there it is. Hey. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Oh. Hold left shift. Um, hello? Whoever this is? Yeah, hello. It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't... You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I what, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. <laughs> You've killed three ex-husbands. You were rebelling against mom. Nobody back home can stand you. Okay, you're probably out here because nobody back home can stand you. Which, after this brief introduction, is not a big shock. Ouch. Uh, I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. Yeah, I would. Well, I'd better get some sleep then. One sec. Now it's my turn. Oh, no. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided <laughs> to write your novel. <laughs> That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. Yeah, firewatch. Thank you for welcoming me to the job. Day one. Oh god, this is one of those. Oh fuck, I gotta, I gotta play this game like eight times Morning, Henry. to get all well, the endings. I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. She can see me at my desk. Where is her office? That's my question. Hey, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours wow. of sleep? Wow. I'm yeah. impressed. Jesus, I guess it's what, 6? Six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. Yeah. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, uh -oh, language going lady. Out your west-facing window. Oh. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. Are those fucking fireworks? Whoa, that's not yeah. legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set Shit. him straight. Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well, <laughs> going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one, two, three, four. It's actually that for all of them. <laughs> wow. Secure. Super secure. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, I need my bag, right? No? I just go? Oh, I took my bag anyway. Okay. Oh, propane. Uh, I can see how you keep your hand on that a lot. I need to hurry up. 